everyone and welcome to my preview looking ahead to this weekend's Brazilian Grand Prix. All races to go of this thrilling and intriguing Formula 1 season and we head into the second race of this latest uh, triple header and Max Verstappen making it, uh, looking to make it another win in the Americas having already won um, in Austin and also last time out in Mexico so can he make it three race wins um, in the Americas you wouldn't bet against it and you know Red Bull um, generally they go go well at, uh, at Brazil so yeah you'd fancy Red Bull and Max Verstappen to take another um, race win this weekend in Brazil um, you know I think Max obviously will be going into the race weekend you know, sky high uh, with, with confidence um, but we know you know with four races to go there's still a long way long way to go and I said it in uh, the review of the Mexican Grand Prix and I'll say it again in the fact that it only takes one uh, DNF for poor result for Max Verstappen and a race win for, for Lewis Hamilton and you know Lewis then finds himself lead, leading the drivers championship but at this, this moment in time you have to say that Red Bull and Max Verstappen are in the are in the driving seat. And whose position would I want to be? Would I want to be the hunted or would I want to be the hunter? Um, I think right now the fact that you no know, Max has got a healthy, a decent um, advantage over uh, Lewis in the drivers' championship, I would rather be in Max for a uh, position right now. Um, and I think, you know, I think obviously, you know, Max has definitely now, at least last, at least last two or three races, has uh, seen his team like Sergio Perez, you know, right up there as as well in terms of getting results. Not not quite having the um, challenge, well, not challenge, not right, not the right word, but, you know, not quite having that bit just to beat Lewis, but even then, just being still right up there. Um, you know, three consecutive uh, uh, appearances on the podium now for, for Sergio Perez and um, yeah he's these last three races definitely has come on strong and um, definitely has been delivering for, for Red Bull um, look I'm sure they would have liked it to be much earlier um, but for Sergio now coming into a new team it was always going to take time um, I think now we're starting to see um, <clears throat> yeah the best the best of Checo and um, you know don't be surprised if Checo does you now have another strong weekend um for Red Bull and does a you know, good job for um for, for the team this weekend. So yeah, don't be don't be surprised if he if he pulls up another another solid weekend. Um but it's a massive weekend for Mercedes. Um can they can they strike back in Brazil and they they need to really. Um you know Red Bull oh, as I say they're in they're in a good position now. Now, only one point behind Mercedes in the constructors as as well, so that's another exciting battle um, that is going to unfold between now and the end of the season. So really intrigued to see how that how that plays out. Um, but as I say, a big weekend for uh, Mercedes in Interlagos. Can Lewis, no no doubt inspired um, by Ayrton Senna um, this this weekend. Um, can he can he bounce back can he take a race victory um in brazil it's not a track he's won i, I don't think that's, I'm, it's not generally well that it's, it's not been one of his best tracks shall we say um you know so lewis is gonna have to pull out something very special uh this this weekend um if he's you know if he wants to seriously <clears throat> reduce that points deficit between himself and um max in the in the drivers championship Championship, so it really is a big weekend um, for Lewis, but also for, for Mercedes as as well. And you know, in terms of the constru constructors battle as well, and then Mercedes will need Valtteri up there um, as well. Look, you know, Valtteri was really unlucky with that first lap incident in in Mexico, um, and there was nothing that he could that he could do. So you know, without that spin, now I think you no, know, I would have expected Valtteri to at least you know, try and challenge for a place on the podium in in Mexico. Um, but yeah. If Mercedes are serious about winning the constructors, then they need both the drivers to, you know, to be right up there, you know. And look, they don't need me to tell to tell them that they'll know that already. So, yeah, big weekend <clears throat> out, out of the two teams. I'd say it's more of a bigger weekend for Mercedes. But you know, Red Bull, uh, as I say, no, they will be ex no, they will be wanting to win all four 
and Max Verstappen, they'll be wanting to win all four um, remaining races this this year. So, um, yeah, plenty to uh, play for. And obviously, the Brazilian Grand Prix, it's also this weekend, we'll see the sprint uh, format return. So, <clears throat> now Interlagos is a track where you can overtake. So, you know, I, I, I expect to see you know, some drama and also hopefully things cross plenty of overtaking um at uh, interlagos so qualifying will be interesting and interlagos is not exactly um it's not the biggest in terms of you know lap time it's probably one of the shorter um laps of of, of the season so you know you'll see plenty of uh, no doubt you knows times where you know drivers will be looking for that space for them to then get that clean lap um in, in qualifying and it's a tight well i say tight track but you know i think as I say, whilst there is overtaking, um, <clears throat> you know, Brazil will be, in terms of trying to find that that space, you know, to be able to, as I say, get that clean lap, it's not going to be easy. So, yeah, that, that, so the qualifying will be tough for, for everyone. But, um, yeah, really, really looking forward to seeing the sprint format in uh, in action. And, you know, it, that could play a massive part this, this weekend in terms of having a defining say in terms of who does become world champion um this year so really excited about the uh sprint format seeing how it plays out this weekend in brazil um and then we've got plenty of other battles uh, up and down uh the field so you know then you know you look at the battle between preferred between ferrari and mclaren ferrari um <clears throat> were able to uh, really you know take take a bit of a stranglehold on third in the constructors but you know we know that uh, mclaren now, what well, we saw Carlos Sainz in 2019 um, finish on the podium here for, for McLaren. So, you know, McLaren have generally haven't done too badly um, at, uh, at uh, Brazil. So, you know, Lando, you know, he'll definitely want to... It's not been... It's not... His second half of the season hasn't been as quite as strong as it was in the first half. But, you know, you won back against Lando picking up a strong result um, in, in Brazil. And obviously Daniel will be definitely want to... Um, bounce back from what happened in in Mexico. So, McLaren for sure. Well, they, they will be fired up. Um, yeah, you know, make no, make no mistake about that. And you know, I wouldn't be surprised if McLaren closed that gap to a really um, narrow margin in, in the points. Um, what well, the points between themselves and Ferrari and the constructors? I wouldn't be surprised if McLaren would would close the gap. And I genuinely do feel that as well as the Ferrari, sorry, the Red Bull and Mercedes. Uh, battle and constructors going to Abu Dhabi. I think we could see um, Ferrari McLaren um, battle going to Abu Dhabi as as well. Um, Ferrari ever since they've made those upgrades or added those upgrades um, to the car um, since Sochi, Ferrari have um, they've, they've improved. They've definitely uh, made made improvements, and you could tell by the results and the consistency, particularly. Um, I say, I say particularly Charles Leclerc, but you know Carlos Sainz has done a, you know, he's even one of those drivers who's just gone about his business quietly. And actually, you know, Carlos, for me, for me, I feel has been one of the, um, yeah, he's had a really good season, the Spaniard, and I think there's definitely a lot of, <clears throat> a lot of positives that he can take, um, from his first season at uh, Ferrari. But there's still four races to go, and I'm sure you know Ferrari will definitely, um, expect be expecting to get, um. Yeah, some some good results, some stronger, I say stronger, but actually some solid results, just to really try and consolidate third um, in, in the constructor between now and, and the end of the season. So, so that's what, another battle in the constructors. Another battle is for fifth place in the constructors between Alpine and Alpha Tauri. So Pierre Gasly picking up a fantastic uh, result um, in, uh, in Mexico, which as a result of that, um, Meant that Alpha Tauri and Alpine are level on points um, in about fifth in, in the constructors. Really difficult to say in terms of who will come out on top. top. I think both teams are evenly um, matched. And um, yeah, I, I, I honestly can't call it in terms of who will finish fifth. I think, again, I think that battles are going to go down um, to the wire. Um, but, you know, we, we, we'll see what happens. I think you know, Alpine have. Um, have had a decent year this year and um obviously Esteban Arcon winning in Hungary will no doubt be the highlight of, of their season. Um but yeah no I, I think that as I say uh, that battle between Alpine and Alpha Tauri I think is gonna 
is going to go down to the wire. Now, Pierre Gasly, once again, um, putting in another fantastic performance in Mexico. One of the drivers of the season for me. Um, and I think, you no, know, Yuki Sonoda wasn't quite um, uh, the, the weekend that, well, the end to, to the weekend, which which promised much, actually. Um, no, I didn't do a bad job in, in free practice. Um, and qualifying, obviously, he had, to, he had to start from the back of the grid. Um, but he, he, showed, he put in a strong showing in, in the US as, 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 as well. So, um, you know, I think Yuki's, you know, if Alpha Tauri are serious about finishing fifth in constructors, then they not only need Gasly to be finishing in points, but they also need Yuki as well to uh, really step up in these final four races as, as well. So, um, yeah, really um, intrigued to see how that battle pans out. Um, but also lower down in the field. Now, I still, in terms of that battle for eighth in the constructors, I still feel that Williams are in pole position to, to finish eighth in the constructors. But that result in Mexico, where Kimi Raikkonen finished um, eighth, one of the star drivers in Mexico, actually, Kimi, um, you know, so Alfa Romeo slightly closed uh, the gap uh, to themselves and Williams in, in the constructors. So, you know, perhaps that eighth place is not you no know, quite quite sewn up yet for, for the um, Grove uh, Bay base team. Um, but, you know, I, I would still fancy, I would still fancy Williams to finish eight in the constructors. I think they had a, had a good season, um, particularly, well, partic well, both George and uh, Nicholas Latifi. I think they've done really well um, this year. Um, I've struggled a bit of, of late, um, you know, not, not picking up points and, yeah, just being, yeah, just struggling at, at couple of tracks uh, recently um but i think you know hopefully fingers crossed now we see a stronger uh performance from them this weekend in in brazil and who knows you now being back in back in the points again so um yeah really looking forward to um seeing all these battles um and seeing who comes out on top you know will you know can williams hold you know take a you know score more points to secure that try and secure that eighth place um, in the constructors, no. Who will come out in the battle between Alpine and Alpha Tauri? No. Will McLaren close the gap um, to Ferrari in in the constructors? And as, no, can Mercedes strike back in Brazil? So plenty of um, yeah talking points to, and also yeah battles to look forward to this weekend. Um, so in terms of a top three uh, for. For um for the Brazilian Grand Prix, it's it's really difficult to look beyond the Red Bull in terms of say, taking the race win. So you know I'm gonna have to go um for a Max Verstappen win. Um, so I'm gonna go for a Verstappen win. I'm gonna go for Sergio Perez to finish second. Um, um so I'm gonna go for a Red Bull and um, one two and um and who will finish third? Um. I'm gonna go for um I'm gonna go for Charles Leclerc uh, to finish third um in, in Brazil this weekend. So top three of Max Verstappen, Sergio Perez and Charles Leclerc. That is my top three um I've predicted. So I'd interested to get uh, to hear your predictions and who will finish in the top three come come Sunday. Um so hope you all enjoy the Brazilian Grand Prix and I'm on Twitter at Baggies20 and also on Instagram at Management89 if you want to talk things Formula 1 and I will catch up with all you guys and girls soon and enjoy the Brazilian Grand Prix. Take care everyone.